Hey guys, if you're thinking there's no way I can teach you how to make an original song on the piano in less than five steps, then you're very wrong because that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to teach you how to make a totally original song in just five easy steps. So before we get started, let me just give you some context. For this to work, you need to have basic knowledge of how to play a song on the piano. And you also need to have a in-tune mind so you know where to hop to next. I'll show you what that means if you don't know what it means. And if you're new to the piano, then I suggest you just try to follow along as best as you can. So, the key to making a song original is that it has to sound specific enough where it does not sound like anything else. For example, I'm going to make a song right now. You tell me if it's original or it's not original. Now that song might to you sound some original, but I can tell you this song is not original. Even though the entire sequence of notes that I played is original, it sounds too close to Drift Away in the Steam Universe movie. You, you'll get what I mean when you watch that video. It sounds completely like this. <laughs> Even though it's not the exact same notes that I played, it is still very similar. But if you were to play something like this... Then that does not sound like anything that's made before. And today I'm going to be running through how I created that song, which is now on a complete song, which I'm going to play today, in just five easy steps. So what I like to start with is I usually like to play um, how I randomly decide is I want to pick one note out of the C major scale. If you don't know what the C major scale is, it's basically just C to C with no black keys. So how I made that song is I picked F. Originally I was thinking of maybe creating something like this. But I just realized that is Crazy Frog, which means it's not original. Then I just played around with it. Then I landed on this note, and I was thinking, maybe this will sound good. And then I'm like, usually what I do is then I add octaves, so this is how this was formed. Then I messed around with it until I figured out the next set of three notes that I like to play. What makes pieces original and nice to listen to is that it has a repeating sense of the same style so people can follow around with your rhythm. So this song has a repeated or Now you can keep the left hand the same thing over and over and over again, but the right hand has to change. So how to create this song is that usually I would just mess around with this, and usually what sounds good is that whatever you play on your right hand will contain the notes what's on the left. So I went with this. So the first two notes are the exact same. Then I sort of played around with it, what would sound right? For example, does this sound right? Maybe in some cases, but not for this song. What sounds right is this. Then I'll usually figure around, does this sound better? Or does this sound better? To some of you, this... is a major, but this is a minor. So, <clears throat> to get you started, first step is to pick a mood you're going for. It could be fear. It could be 
happiness. Or in the other hand, it could be something like Interstellar. I'm not sure what mood Interstellar is going for, but maybe futuristic sci-fi. If that's what Interstellar is going for, please correct me if, if it's not that that's, that that's not the mood of this piece. Okay, just a heads up, I don't think I'm going to get copyrighted, but if I do, I will replace the sound with sounds YouTube allows that's copyrighted. Anyways, you guys have to pick the mood. Second is all the chords I talked about. So what usually that happens next is you need to pace things out so it fits in with everything. So, for example... to do this is to count in your head. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So make sure everything is counted now. I just counted. If you couldn't hear my voice, I counted. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or if you like to go faster, Here's one of the songs that I created that is faster. Now, this doesn't usually happen in songs where you just do that, but if you want to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then you can do that. And the easiest way to keep yourself in track of time is that, or if you're not gonna keep your track of time, just play it with the pedal. So what makes this sound good is because it stays with the same mood. I think this is more of like... Adventurous, uh, courageous, like a victory path setting tone. I'm not too good with identifying tones, but I just know how to make them. So the third step would be able to keep going. So not only would you make it sound good with the first, you have to make it sound good with the next. But you don't want to just start with. then people would know it's way too obvious, which is this song that I played on my channel. Which is basically Skyfall Improvised. Anyways, you don't want that to happen. So what you need to do for this step is you need to make it keep flowing but sound the same. So how that works out is you can pick a set of notes that sound good with just this. See how that sound sort of goes together? So if it sort of goes together, you keep the same mood and the same amount of like tone so it doesn't change too much because you don't want to go from uh, like sort of dark to happy immediately. You want to keep it the same. So I'm just going to call this courageous. If it's not courageous, I'm sorry. You will group these together, but you will not group this together. How that's not the same genre, like it doesn't sound good together. So what you need to do is keep it flowing. See how that sort of goes together? Now, the final step to creating a song is making sure you can do enough variations so that it's just not the same thing over and over again. 
Let me just show you what I mean. That's just a little snippet of the new song. Anyways, a lot of you be like, well, that's amazing, but I'm following along and I can't do it. Did you lie to me? And I would say, well, I wouldn't call it a lie, I will call it forgetting to tell you something. For this to work, you need to have piano practice. You cannot just start off like, I just bought a piano two days ago and I can make songs. To make something this complicated, nah, not so much. I suggest you start with something easier, not as fast. So it'll be better for you. But if you do have piano experience and do understand what I'm talking about, that is five easy steps on how to make your own original song. 